If I told you that I am related to Her Majesty the Queen of England, would I be telling the truth? Well, in a sense, the key to the riddle is not blue blood, but blue eyes. All the blue-eyed people in the world, including Her Majesty and myself, are descended from a single common ancestor. Oh, by the way, did you know that brown eyes are brown because they contain dark pigment called melanin, but there is no such thing as blue pigment in human body. Actually, there is almost no pigment at all in blue eyes, and they are blue as a result of light scatter, the very same phenomenon that makes the sky appear blue. But let's not get sidetracked. So what was the story of the first blue eyed ancestor? Originally, all humans had brown eyes. Then, the blue eyed ancestor was born with a mutation in their DNA. This mutation drastically reduced levels of melanin in the iris, allowing for the eyes to appear blue. From this single ancestor, the blue eyed mutation spread like a wildfire. More than 80% of Northern Europeans and more than a half of Swiss people have blue eyes. Judging by these numbers, it seems that the blue-eyed people must have been pretty successful at surviving and reproducing. But what was it that gave the blue-eyed people such an advantage in the dark-eyed world? One theory says that the advantage is related to the lack of sunlight in northern cloudy climate. With no pigment in its way, more light can enter into blue eyes, making the dim light vision more accurate. It is also possible that blue eyes spread side by side with pale color of the skin. Light skin absorbs more UV light, which was at the time the only way to get vitamin D, extremely important for bones development and immunity. Second, a bit more spicy theory suggests that blue eyes spread through a mechanism called sexual selection. <laughs> Sometimes, males and females of a species choose a mate based on its attractiveness or uniqueness rather than on its abilities at survival. Just imagine the tail of a peacock. It is magnificent, but otherwise kind of useless. And these are the two theories that we have. But the truth is we don't know why and how exactly did blue eyes spread across Europe. Maybe one day we will get enough insight to be able to tell if we have blue eyes because of practical reasons or because they are just so irresistible. Thank you.